Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Today, we are down at Bay Park. Bay Park. Really cool skies today. Look at that sky today. Pretty sky today. It's dawn. Always first. Dawn is always first. Good morning, dawn. Look at that sky. Look at that sky today. Kevin Brady's on. Look at that. All right, now you got to look at me. All right, so. Tuesday morning, we're down at Bay Park, and Father Eugene's back. He was in Jersey last week for Mom's birthday, so we got he got a free pass because visiting Mom is important. Mom is 72, did you say? And healthy, God bless. So, oh, Benny was second, now we're fighting over who's first, okay. It's all right, we can fight over who's first on the live. So, uh, so let's get going with this message. We got a crowd brewing here. So this morning we jumped on the Bible verse. It was uh, from, uh, Matthew, I believe, and it basically said, uh, "Don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will bring its own troubles. Worry about today." And basically, um, one of the stories was uh, the birds don't har don't plant and harvest uh, food; they just know it's there and they go get it when it's ready. So just like that, we should uh, trust in God and know that God will provide and not worry about how we're gonna eat and where our clothes will come from, just to show up every day and, uh, and <clears throat> live as God wants us to live and do the right thing and God will provide. So I um, thought that was interesting. Then we jumped into the Ryan Stuman podcast this morning. Uh, we got a good remix going on here. So he was talking about uh, blessed to be cursed. Um, a lot of us, when bad stuff happens in our lives, we look up and go, God, why me? Right? But if you look back at a lot of those setbacks, they were set up for the future. So when bad things happen to, your, to you, it got you out of your comfort zone. And we think it's something bad, uh, but in the end, uh, it turned into something good. Uh, a lot of people I know lost their job and stuff has happened and they're in a lot better place because they lost that job, because they got out of comfort zone. Um, people have gotten divorced and gotten remarried and they're happier than they ever could have been. Um, Things happen in your life, and we always have to look at the bright side of everything that's going on in your life. Um, don't say, why me? Um, you know, just just have faith that, that God has a plan, and just keep doing the right thing every day, and God will provide. So then we rolled into a Joel Osteen podcast. Uh, we got the full, full thing going on today, and the message was similar. Um, just to have faith and trust and keep just keep going um and then followed that up with jill underwood's podcast and she said something in there which i thought was cool um there's a saying the grass is always greener but uh your own grass would be green if you just watered it i like that i like that your own grass would be green if you just watered it so stop looking at the grass is always greener by everyone else and just water your own grass have faith and get it done um you know, we all doubt ourselves. We all self-defeat. And don't. Just do it. Just water your grass. Water your grass. Your grass will turn green if you water it. Say your prayers. Do what you got to do. Do the work. Read the book. You know, go to school. Take the class. Do what you got to do. Water your grass. Your grass will be green. Stop looking at everyone else's grass. So I thought that was a really cool message today. So thank you, Jill, for that one. And um, so that was the remix of this morning. So uh, basically, don't worry. Don't worry about tomorrow. Live today. Live in a moment. Trust in God that he's going to provide because he will. If you just do the right thing in your life every day. And water your grass. Just keep filling your mind and body. Uh, go to the gym. Take your bike ride. Just do what's right. Keep watering your grass and it will turn green. So that's our message. So, all right. We're going to jump into prayers now. We got prayers VIP, Father Eugene. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, uh, I've been trying to, you know, carry the weight, but, uh, 
you know, I'm not as good as it. I don't have as much training. But we do what we can. Yeah. We do what we can. <laughs> yeah, Brian, thank you. I'm back. I took off um, just for a few days to see my mom and then also to celebrate her birthday with her. And then come back. We are here today. The good message of today is very, very important for every one of us, especially as we struggle in life. We have to continue moving. We continue moving forward and then praying God always and trusting uh, God. As um, Brian said, you have to do something about whatever situation you find yourself, whatever you have as your project or as your reality. Uh, continue watering that grass and then you will always see a, a change. That's what we call. When you do your best, the result is always the best. So we ask God to bless our day, and bless everyone out there, bless every of our activities and programs. And as we trust him that he will always uh, provide for us, as uh, he promised us that uh, we shouldn't worry about tomorrow. So it is uh, our prayer that God will continue to provide for us as we begin our prayers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Her Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Mary God, we thank you for the gift of a new day. We thank you for the gift of life. And we also thank you for the friendship we share. We continue to pray that you will be with us, that you will continue to provide for us in our struggles and in our endeavors in life. And today we pray and continue to pray for all health workers, our doctors and nurses, our caregivers. We continue to pray for our pharmacies and we, <laughs> we pray for everyone there that's already working and supporting uh struggle with the COVID-19 and then praying God to still come to our aid. He did it before and he will continue to do it. We pray for all the sick, pray for those in the hospital, the homebound, those who have no one to pray for them and to take care of them. I will ask you God that you will come to our help and then that we will come out of this pandemic and then continue to praise and worship you as we move on today we ask for your blessings we ask for your protection and we continue to pray that every of our actions may also be for your greater glory and for our salvation and for our good you will live and reign forever and ever amen, amen. the lord be with you may the almighty god bless you father son and the holy spirit thank you jesus thank you Brian, thank you. Everyone out there, God bless you all. Awesome. Thank so, you, Father. You're welcome. Thank you for the message. Uh, it's nice to have you back. We missed you uh, in the last couple of weeks, uh, last week. And, uh, yeah. But we're glad you were visiting Mom. We're glad Mom's healthy. We wish Mom happy birthday. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So you got a nice message. Get out there, water your grass. Don't worry about tomorrow. If you water your grass today, it'll grow tomorrow. Yeah. So it's a real simple message today. Uh, I don't know if you got the and you got to see last night. Me and Sam Smith did our first Monday night live. Get some fire uh, interactive podcast. Um, Sam was able to stream it. Uh, I wasn't able to stream it. I was able to stream it when I did the test run at work, and I went home and set everything up again. It wouldn't stream, and I'll figure that part out. But the replay's out there, so you can see us uh, just talking about uh, some life and talking about some business. We had our friend. Uh, Benny Montalbano on, and we got to talk with him a little bit, <clears throat> talk about his business and where he's going. 
and um, we're gonna do that next week. We're gonna get the bugs out of it, and uh, we're hoping it's something you guys can tune into and uh, and enjoy. We're gonna do it 8:30 Monday nights, uh, Eastern time, and me and Sam will uh, we'll talk and uh, interview people and and give you some ideas and some inspiration and uh, just try and make your lives better. Uh, we'll try and give back to the world and uh, try and bless you all. We're all on this journey together, so come and take a ride with us. Join the journey. Uh, we appreciate everyone that's watching this, everyone that's on here every morning. Uh, love seeing, I love the feedback. Please like, comment, share, uh, message me. I'm around for anything you guys need in life. Uh, no judgment, just uh, support. So, uh, and Father Eugene's always available too. I tag him on here every day. Uh, so you'll see Father Eugene on there. If you ever need anything, he's always happy to help. You can message him. And um, that's it. So we're all on this journey together. Go out and water your grass. Make something happen today. Happy Tuesday. The week's just beginning. Go make it happen. God bless everyone. See you soon.